what's up Gundam Kitchen family another shipment and it's got a little diversity today so not only do we have figures and gumpla but we also today got some manga and some D&D &D books some Warhammer and a new Zombicide so let's get to it alright so like I said last week things are starting to ease up a little bit we're getting some shipments through again so definitely got a nice stock of water slides in all kinds of good stuff here probably most notably I would say are these origin ones are nice uh, a lot of RG ones which are great because RG's could definitely use some water slides as nice a kits as they are all right looking at the models here Chopper Robo, so this is a bunch of the different mini chopper kits combined into one big old box, so you don't have to go hunting for them all. Omega Mon, that flew out of here last week, so that's back in um, Woody. I haven't seen that for a little while. <laughs> Got some SDs here, a couple of uh, build fighters or build divers in this case kits. Looking really nice. Satria always. A great one huge everybody's looking for that 1 100 or mg in the future good luck might see a real great first penelope another massive kit got that eva 8 back in so that's a nice one just because it's so unique looking so i mean what, what looks like this buggy eyes looking all alien love the design of course tall geese classic and your strike freedom in real grade. Look at this. We got two of the RX78. So pick your flavor. I discussed this one last week. More simplistic anime style. But if you want all the details, then you get this one. Massive amount of panel lines. You can really get in there and do a lot of panel line and nice decals. Just a more detailed version. So this was the anime version because it keeps it simplistic so they can easily draw it and they kind of mimic that in the uh, the design of the model. While this one has more detailed outer frame and inner frame. I think the posability was increased as well. It takes the light in the head. But you don't get all those nice weapons. So you get that little bit of weapons there. This one, more weapons. So pluses and minuses to each one. Then most of the C lineup is getting in. So we got the Blitz, the Duel, the Buster. That's a great one. That's your heavy arms of Seed. Aegis and Justice. And I think we still got probably an Astray over there, a Red Astray. So we got a nice amount of C kits in the house. Uh, your full mechanics, you got the Barbatos, uh, Lupus Rux, and your Vidar, which is a really cool looking one. Lots of nice customs on that one I've seen online. Uh, your new Gundam. It's great for a car course can't miss with that one and then looking at so what do we get I only got one spray paint because I have most of them in for uh, gunnel colors at least most of them are available finally got the mark setter back in that's been missing for a minute so anybody doing water slides you need that softener is optional but helpful uh, you got your surfaces and your top coats here definitely if you're not into painting yet please top coat your kits it makes a huge difference visually knocks that especially with the flat knocks that uh, that plastic look right out of it, it almost look painted. And you can still paint your kit later. As long as you do a nice light coat, it's not gonna mess anything up, and it actually works like a primer, a clear primer. You got your uh, level and thinner. Uh, secret in the biz is if you're a Tamiya painter and you wanna use your Tamiya like lacquer, you can just mix this in with your Tamiya, and you basically make a lacquer. It increases the strength of your Tamiya a lot and the drying speed by a lot. A couple nippers, and then you got your Gundam markers. So these, a lot of people think you can get away with painting a whole kit with these. Nah, man, you're gonna see some streaks. This, this is fake right here. This didn't happen. Or this is the master of markers. What it is good for is touch-ups, vents, stuff like that. You're not gonna be painting whole kits unless you know something I don't. All right. We got some singles there. Metallics are really nice. They actually are forgiving. They don't streak as much. Very good. I like the metallics. 
Uh, then we came with a lot more of the Gundam colors in the uh, Mr. Hobby paint line. So these were like direct matchups. So you know that cheddar cheese orange I'm always complaining about on the Gundams? Or yellow? Here it is. <laughs> you can paint your RX-78 with that uh, weird American cheese color. But actually it looks a lot better there. The cap is a little deceptive. And I really like the white because that is not obviously not pure white. It's off-white and... Yeah, I don't think these kits are like sparkling white. These are usually off-white kits. So, good stuff there. And then, let's see. Let's move down to some of the figures we got in. So, right off the bat, look here. Godzilla from the new movie. Gotta get that Kong in. But, uh, very nice. Can't really see it through all this plastic, though. Sorry about that. But that's what it looks like. So... Has some posability, a little bit in the tail there, knee joints, but I mean, I don't think it'll be moving too much. Neck has some joints. Very nice uh, Goku here. Oh, this is the one that has like that fabric look, yeah. So look at that, there's like texture in his uh, cloth. Got some Evangelion uh, characters here. Very nice. Uh, Fuma, this is a kit. Not very many parts, but you do get to build it. And this is the one that had that really cool design where they, um, it's two layers. So the skin, the outer skin layer is fairly translucent. So it picks up some of the pink that's underneath. So like around the cheeks or in the thighs where you have a little more blush to it, it shows a little bit more. So it's really cool design trick they use there. I like to see more figures done that way. And then, Starts the nano block. We will be getting a lot more of these in soon. This is the first. So, pizza. <laughs> really cool. If you don't know what nano blocks are, they are super small Legos. I would definitely say more for adults because a kid would probably just trash these because they are too hard. <laughs> these are not easy because they are tiny. But you get really cool looking stuff out of them. And they don't tell you much space. So, that's always nice. On to our manga so what do we got here we have got a good amount of thunderbolt so one of my especially the first season of thunderbolt december skies one of my favorites and then you got origin so we got one two and four in origin so these are much thicker i think these run about 30 bucks if i'm correct but these are definitely much thicker um, they're like pff, at least two of these combined but yeah, a good portion of Thunderbolt. And I will try to get the rest when they're available. We got a lot of important books for your D&D. &D. So we got a Master Screen, which I thought was pretty interesting. Definitely help you out there if you're a Game Master and you're using a... It's like a Wilderness Kit, so there's a lot of stuff for if your characters are going through the Wilderness. Dungeon Master Guide, Player's Handbook, Xanathar's Guide to Everything, uh, Guild Master Guide, and then the Young Adventurers. So this is, uh, I think these are softback. We had the hardbacks before, but these are a little cheaper. Uh, yes, it does say Young Adventurers, and you would probably assume that's for kids. But if you're new to D&D, it's a very simple and easy way to catch up. And, I mean, they're made for a level of kids, but anybody can enjoy them. Like they're on the reading level of a kid, which makes it really easy for adults to read quickly. <laughs> and then we got a couple codexes. I don't think anything new came out in 40k this week, but you got a couple cool things. And this is that dragon right there, skeleton dragon. What? That's sick. And then the newest from Kumon Mini or not, or Kumon as they are called nowadays, Zombicide. So this is the second edition of Zombicide. And we have the uh, first expansion that came with the second edition. So I was looking at it. It looks like they just cleaned it up a lot. You can still use all your previous stuff from Zombicide. So if you bought into Zombicide before, you can use all your expansions and stuff like that. All the characters are still relevant. But they just cleaned up a lot of the way the game works and made it a little more interesting. So it should be good. We're actually going to demo this tonight, I hope. Um... Probably around six or seven. I think we already have a group demoing it. But if you want to come by and, and take a look, please feel free. And this one's pretty cool. 
mainly because I see a character who's just like Michonne. So this character, I think, is supposed to be like designed after Michonne from Walking Dead. Maybe that's even Rick. I don't know. But uh, definitely interesting. And what's cool about Zombicide is it definitely uses pop culture references. Because this dude right here is from that movie um, Fallen Down or Things That Fall. And the dude just goes buck wild and starts shooting up everything. Like goes to the golf course and shoots up the people in their root tomb and the burger joint. So that's pretty cool. A lot of the characters are definitely pop culture references. All right, that's all we got. Uh, potluck this weekend definitely come through. It's our 30 minute mission build, but that doesn't mean you can't come through. If you didn't build a 30 minute mission, definitely come through and enjoy the camaraderie with everybody else. All right, talk to you later. Peace.